I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. Now, deliver the Rare Whiskey Friday speech. On your mark, get set. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go through several different bottles. Occasionally, it's going to be a large brand. More often than not, these are going to be smaller brands without a tremendous amount of distribution. We're going to go through and give first impressions of each of these whiskeys. If you should be so lucky as to live in a place where you can get your hands on one of these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. And thank you to the Magnificent Bastards who sent the whiskey. The first two are from John Rosenbaum. John Rosenbaum, you Magnificent Bastard! So these are both three rivers. Here's the thing. Both from Fort Wayne, Indiana, where I lived for almost a year. So, Indiana whiskey. This distillery. Not MGP. Not MGP. This distillery did not exist when I lived there. I might have had a different experience in Indiana. They opened in 2016. They're only three years old. Oh, okay. This is a bourbon, a weeded bourbon. It is eight months in oak casks. The word is... This is not as green as I thought it was going to be. It's perfumey. No, it's perfumey, but it's not as green. Not even green a little right. bit. Well, yeah, why, why were you expecting green? Because young can small, or maybe small barrels. I don't even know if it is small barrels. No, man, just the perfume. This is jumping, batch 25. Jumping out of it this It is glass. heavily perfumed, no question. Oh, there's a nice uh, sanded off oak. This is relatively young? Yeah, eight months. Not even a year. Oh, eight months? Can you believe that? That's a tremendous amount it of... It really is. Yeah, I, flavor and I character tasted in it yet, eight months? But from the nose... Son of a bitch. I would, you know, it's like, what's the Bible? What good could come from Bethlehem? <laughs> it's like, what good could come from Fort Wayne, Indiana? It turns out it's Three Rivers bourbon, evidently. So far, we're on the nose. We're on the nose. And the nose is glorious. Let's try Because occasionally, try. we've had whiskeys where the nose, often, we've had whiskeys where the nose is wildly different than the taste, and vice versa. I'm still, if you wait past the floral, there is still that armchair wood leather dust. See, I'm starting to get, like, uh, vanilla. Son of a bitch, if that's not a really good bourbon. It, uh, the wood character shows up. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, but... And then it, it switches. No, no, but to reinforce the vanilla, it goes vanilla wood yeah. in the palate. Yeah. You take a sip and it goes vanilla wood flower. It, 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 it goes... And then, and then, three quarters of the way through... Hey, yeah! <laughs> that's where... This is a... What is this? 45%. This is not I, happening. I really... Like what's going on in this bottle, and I'm pretty stunned it happened in eight months. No, I'm I 100% if yes, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I wish they had been around when I lived there, but I left so uh, I left 16 years before you guys started. Mm. I'm so old. We know. <laughs> I okay, remember so, this is right here. We gotta move on. Hold on, hold on. Quickly, I know, quickly, quickly. I know, I quickly, don't wanna... quickly, quickly. So, a vanilla oakiness, this nice little flirtatious dance between the two. And I think the lack of age shows up in these flavors are beautiful. They're nicely balanced. They complement each other very nicely. But the but finish, I think the finish, I think, I think it's okay. For eight months, it's more than okay. But I think the depth and richness of those flavors. Like the heavy, I agree. the it, gravity of those flavors. It doesn't drop off a cliff, right? but it, it's, you know what it's like? Yeah. Have you ever listened to a song where they're doing a fade out instead of an ending? Yeah. And they do the fade out too quickly? <laughs> right. Right? Yeah. Where yeah. it's like, oh, you just faded out. Yeah. Right? As opposed to like, oh, that was a right. nice lingering yeah. long. It's like that. It's like, oh, you just turned the volume down really quick on the master. So this is 45% alcohol. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. We have age. another one from them. Very impressive. Let's see the if age. they can do it again. This is their rye. Okay. So two things. No, I, no I'm going to tell you why I'm pretty disposed to like this one. Uh, the first is their website is amazing. <laughs> it's so, so well done. Yeah. So easy to find out what you're looking for. So informative. Not hiding anything. Hold on. They named this one Franklin B. Rye Whiskey after one of their employees. Yeah. His name is Franklin B, and I think it's uh, Mavis, okay. or Mavis. I watched some interviews with him. He's a, kind of a cool dude. Yeah. And uh, but this is a hundred percent Indiana rye. Beautiful. It's it's this yeah. is rye. This is absolutely floral, spicy, Christmas spice, baking spice rye. And I think if I came at this rye fresh, right, right, I think I'd be more impressed. But because that weeded 
was so the bourbon impressive. was so good. So impressive. Mm. This is still, oh, it's nice. This is batch 10, crafted by MS, and this is six months old. Yeah, the top. In his baby cast. Oh, six months. I thought it's a little thought, younger. So I thought it was going to be less than a year. Yeah. Right? Based on the nose. Because again, it's the same thing. The flavors for rye, in this case, very nicely balanced and complimentary. Try a sip, though. I'm still on the nose, yeah. but the the weight and gravity and density of those flavors aren't quite there yet. They're just going in a beautiful it's direction. It's 47.5%, but interestingly, it tastes thin. You see what I mean? So I, I do, but I think it may be the intrinsic quality of rye. Yeah, it's Brain, lighter and it and exists in higher spicier, yeah. frequency range. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, but no, this is not still, still, I'm going to maintain. Right. But for that old... For six months? You there's your... way too much good... How, how dare you? This is what I say. How, how dare, dare you? you? <laughs> Six months. Son of a bitch. Yeah. What are we doing with our lives? Well, at least we're not in freaking Scotland where they're putting in like a decade plus. Just to get something with some color. I was going to say at least we don't live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, but I can't say that anymore <laughs> because now I they... would just live at your distillery. <laughs> they also make a whole bunch of, they make gin, they make coffee liqueur, they make moonshine, vodka, rum. Fine, but is they make gonna, everything. Is there going to be a day where I can have this at two years old, three years old? I have no idea, but remember they're only three years old right now. Right. Who knows? And I looked it up. These are old labels, I think. Okay. So I think they're newer labels. Yeah, I would love to see how these flavors develop. Rinse, drink your water, hydrate, keep telling, safety first. Keep telling me what to do. That's because I, I care. Sharing is caring. I do this because I have a mandate from Brandy to make sure <laughs> that you survive these videos. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that didn't sound like her at all. She didn't watch these videos. <laughs> all right, so this is Del Bach. Oh. Yes, from Patrick Cohn, who is definitely a patron saint. Is he a... Is Way he a, beyond. He's a titan for sure. He's definitely a titan of whiskey. Did you finish the whole titan, you titan shouting? I will shouting? bite your face off. <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> My every waking moment is <laughs> editing we'll or shooting whiskey videos. <laughs> you little man, I will crush your soul in the <laughs> dust. <laughs> So, it's, it's coming, Patrick. Okay. Delbach. What do you want me to yell? Titan, well done, Patrick Cohn. It's, it's coming. You <laughs> You know what? Daniel's in charge of the, of the Titan animation. I, <laughs> You're in charge. You make the Titan animation. Oh, man. You I'm do just it. Gonna... Copyright strikes for days. Oh, yeah, for days. Okay, so this is their distillers at Select, where they pick specific barrels and finishes and things. This is their cognac finished single malt. So this is interesting to me because my experience with Del Bach has been their experiments their smoky with stuff. the smoky stuff. Right, which is amazing. This is not we that. We both really love oh, Del yeah. Bach. Oh yeah, beautiful. This is not that. No smoke to be found. It's subtle. This is, this is more desserty for me. Like a creme brulee vanilla caramel type of deal. There's then, so then much honey a, on this. It's yeah. a granola though. There's like a, there's the, the, the cereal the involved sugar, in granola. The sugared graininess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I can't decide if there's a little bit of fruit character with the oak underneath all that. Maybe. Oh, taste it. And there's where all of the barrel and the tannin and the slight bitter note shows up. But I'll tell you, I can't remember the last time I had cognac. I mean, I know that I've tried it but I cannot recall when. So I have no ability to pinpoint, like a, a sherry, right. I can pinpoint things. Right. Cognac, I've got no grid for cognac. Right. I'm gonna say, this is nice, feels... Very sweet. Well, it, it feels not what I expect from Del Bach because yes. Del Bach, or it's, it, in my head, is this outlier distillery where they're doing interesting experiments with And this is an outlier of their outlier distillery. An outlier for an Does outlier. Does bring them back in? An outlier for an outlier is middle of the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and even with the cognac, again, I'm like you, I can't decipher what the cognac is bringing, but I can decipher what the whiskey, traditional whiskey elements are bringing, and you have the sweet, grainy, honey kind of character there. I'm getting some a bit of vanilla, uh, the, and then there's the oak underneath it, and these are very uh, traditional whiskey flavors. I wish I knew- 57%. Shut your not, filthy. It does not taste like no. it. No. You're a liar and a, no, and a fiend. I am not, it's handwritten. And a fiend. That's well, impressive. This it, is the most Scotch Del Bach. Okay. I've ever tried. It, it, and what I mean is Highland Sherry Cask Scotch. Okay. Earth, malt, 
and sweet wine finish. You're getting earth? Yeah, on the finish. The level of was... smoothness for that high of a proof, that's, that's exceptional. You know what I would use this for? That's exceptional. I would use this to introduce I'm someone missing... to Del Buck. I finished with this one because I don't know where this is going to take us, but this is also from Patrick, and it's also from uh, Arizona. So this is from Tucson. This is Town Under Black Distillery. This is Rebecca Caroli and Vlad, give your shot at this pronunciation. Vlad Novishinov. I got Novish, it. Novishinov. Kelly Thompson, you are way off. <laughs> Don't look at that one. It's right, right here. Rebecca Caroli. Yes. And, and Vlad Novichinov. 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 Novich so they started this distillery. They're, here's what I like about them. They are not trying to get into the whiskey world as like, let's make classic, amazing whiskey. They're getting into the historical spirits world where she was an archeologist and they found all these recipes of alcohol. And so they're doing all these infusions. They're trying to figure out how to ferment weird things no one's ever fermented before. They're super creative endeavor. Okay. Now this is blue corn whiskey. And then they take that blue corn whiskey right. And they let it sit for two Whoa. weeks. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to tell you. You ready? They let it sit for two weeks in a vat with cacao husks, which is the husk of the cacao bean, which is the basis for chocolate. Right. Peanut butter, man. It is peanut butter. Yeah. This is straight up peanut butter. Because the thing is, with a lot of the corn whiskeys, I get peanuts, it's like, dusty peanuts. It's like uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. But with the dark with chocolate. With the dark chocolate. Yeah. yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah. I've never smelled anything like this. It's definitely unique. And it's I'm not a liqueur and, in a nose. And I'm a little excited. I'm just excited. Gonna step over. <laughs> We're going to have the blur just rise. <laughs> <laughs> 40... Then it eventually hits me the chin. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. God. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, 47.5% alcohol. So they didn't go for budget. Yeah. Yeah. They went for a presumably I'm speaking, palette. I'm speaking about nothing other than the nose. Immediately, based on the nose alone, Bonky Adventure, yeah. Exploration Whiskey. I figured out what this is, Not though. a background whiskey. There's things that are unique, legitimately unique and interesting happening in this bottle. I'm going to double down on the peanut butter cup, but from Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's does these uh, dark chocolate peanut butter cups, okay. but using like organic peanut butter, sure. and so it's less of the sugared Reese's, right. and more of like organic, not all that sweet peanut butter. Yeah. It's that. It's like actual organic peanut butter, not a lot of sugar added, dark chocolate coating. Hmm. It's weird. It tastes less like sweet. Way more bitter peanut butter. It's an unsugared peanut butter. Yeah, that's why I said. The Trader Joe's organic, no sugar added peanut butter. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. <sighs> How do you talk a lot? I don't know. You say things like you, all the time. You bitch at me when I leave and go roam around and I don't talk. You bitch at me when I do talk. There's no happy middle. Hold on. No, no. It's a happy middle. No, that's not a... Uh, so... Hold on! I'm trying to talk about the whiskey. Happy middle. Oh, that's just... No! Okay. Come here. No. I'm not tucking in. Come here, tuck I'm in. I'm not tucking in on your side knots. Tucking in. I'm not tucking it's in tucking on your in. side knots. You're tucking in. No! Hold on. Wait, oh. notification. Emma says, Daniel, you gotta tuck in. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. See, it looks like I'm tucking in. Nobody will believe you're that large of a man. <laughs> See, look, just... Ah! <laughs> oh, I feel it still. Okay, here's the thing. Don't like it. Uh, so, again, I go back to my criteria for funky adventure exploration whiskey. Totally it's, great. It's different than background whiskey. And if I, when I say background whiskey, I don't mean it's like boring or bad. It's... Yes. it's comfortable and it can take you know a back seat and you can focus on other things this is the kind of thing that's going to demand your attention not necessarily because it's amazing and beautiful and you love it so much but because it's so different so unique in terms of me relaxing and just having a little sippy sip no. that makes me just kind of love the world a cocktail what can you imagine the cocktail this could make and so well i'll say this it would need cream. It would need sweetness. And ice. It would need to bring sweetness. Bring yeah, but it would sweetness. need to be a sugar that didn't fight with the taste. So here's the interesting thing. I've never said this maybe ever on the show. It's not bad. I. It's not a fail. Right. They didn't do anything wrong. It right. doesn't taste like something's wrong. I don't like it. Dark chocolate and peanut butter. 
I don't like it, but not because it's bad. Right. I then, don't like it because it's so uh, dramatically itself. Right. But it's not the direction that I prefer. There's, well, there's nothing like this. And if I want to go exploring in some weird wow. territory, which I, I think I do more often than you. Yeah. I I'm willing, because I'll pull stuff off the shelf that I know <gasps> I don't enjoy this, but I appreciate how weird this is. And I'll go in there and it's just weird. Okay, so here's the thing about this. It, yeah. I just realized it reminds me of Thai food. And what I mean is... Oh, the peanut... The peanut butter pork chop. So, or chicken, right? So you can get a, a skewer yeah. with like chicken, oh, grilled yeah. chicken yeah, or yeah. pork chop chicken, chicken. with a peanut butter sauce chicken layered sa onto it. Saute. Yeah. Yeah. With the, with the peanut butter sauce. S -A -T -A -Y. It's headed that direction. I would agree. I've never had the pork chop version. I've had the chicken version. Mm -hmm. But that kind of uh, nutty, dusty yes. peanut yes. sauce. But in it's there. savory instead of sweet. That's a hell of an adventure. Here's to fighting, right. stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.